Hi everyone, today we're going to be replacing all of these vent openers. These videos are brought to you in part by our Patreon contributors. Our top contributors are TrueAquaponics.com, GreenLifePlanet.net, GlassBottleOutlet.com, and GrowPockets.com. A special shout out to GlassBottleOutlet.com. They've been our top supporter for the entire time we've been doing our Patreon subscribers. I'd appreciate it if you checked out their site. Thanks a lot. So I'll go over a little bit of the history of how these were installed and then um, what I don't like about them and then we'll go and install uh, some new openers. The original setup uses these two analog thermostats and they are used to control uh, the two fans that I have on the south side of the greenhouse and when uh, one of them turns on it will also turn on the uh, vent openers on the north side. So the operation of these very simple is you apply voltage to these, the motor spins in them, pulls on the chain and then eventually the vent opens up and binds up the chain creates a force against it and holds that lever in there. So that motor in there is always trying to spin and uh, using electricity. And then uh, to shut it off, you just uh, deactivate the power to these things and the weight of the vents will then pull this uh, motor closed and you can hear all the gears uh, spinning in there as it spins itself backwards. So as these are just sitting here running all day and not doing very much, uh, they're consuming about 144 watts, which isn't a whole lot uh, compared to the fans that are running, but it's more than uh, what I'm using just to pump the water uh, in this greenhouse. So it, it is a, a lot of energy that I'm just wasting having these sit here, and they actually do uh, get fairly warm uh, while they're sitting here idle all day long. I also have one unit that has failed, so the vent's still opening because of the second um, unit that's on there but uh, something inside has stripped, it's hot, and uh, if you do push it a little bit, it'll eventually go, but it gets jammed up, so there's something broken with the gears or something jammed in it. It's a sealed case, so something's broken with the gears. Now, when I originally bought these, I got six of them, and three of them were DOA out of the box. So I wasn't overly thrilled about that. And you can see here's the label uh, for, I'm running it at 240 volts at 0.1 amp. So that gets us the uh, 24 watts on each one of them. And um, with these, the manufacturer did replace them. And I cracked this one open. And you can see here there's a, a bunch of gears that were driving it. And then, they're manufacturing, they actually had taken this and pinched this uh, wire right into the case, which of course is why uh, this unit had failed. And uh, it, was, it was just shorting out. And the other two did the exact same thing. And it's sort of surprising the uh, poor quality of the manufacturing, because this is a pretty standard part for most greenhouses for opening up these uh, vent louvers. And it's uh, sort of a shame that nobody's come up with a better design because with the wasted energy and uh, obviously the poor quality control of the manufacturing of these and um, even though these are uh, steel gears or metal gears, I do have one that is uh, stripped out. Uh, the quality on these things is just uh, subpar. If you watch the older videos of me building the dome, I had used some linear actuators in there. Uh, to run the vents. So I'm planning on doing the same thing. This is a four inch linear actuator. I actually only need a two inch to open up these vents, uh, but I didn't have any at the time and these are readily available. So we're gonna go with the four inch and they'll, they'll do just fine. So what I'm gonna do is install a new uh, support post, which will be uh, center with this main uh, bracket of the vent itself. Put in a little homemade bracket here and then attach the uh, linear actuator to that. And then there'll be uh, the two chains going up to either side of the uh, louver just to distribute the pulling force against that. And then this will just go up and down. So overall, fairly simple uh, design and it will use substantially less power in the long run.
and hopefully not fail like these other ones have. Those other linear actuators that I have in the dome are um, now eight years old and uh, I haven't had a single problem with them. So I uh, have faith that this will also work just as well. I don't have a great way of connecting the chain into the hole of that. I don't have any S hooks that will fit into there. It's a sort of a weird shape. So what we're going to do is make our own loop. Two chains going up. So I've installed this um, 120 volt AC to 12 volt DC power supply with a uh, controller attached to it used to run these vents. Um, so that controller just acts as a, an on off relay and then I've modified that relay so it acts as an H bridge. So it reverses the polarity to um, these actuators because that's basically how they work. You have the voltage go positive into the actuators, uh, open them and then uh, switch the voltage uh, so that the negative and the positive are switched to different wires and that runs the uh, runs them in the opposite direction. So that's basically all this will do. And also this uh, power supply will be used for another low voltage uh, project that I have. Um, I made up a new modified uh, fish feeder so that will be another video in the near future, um, but this allows me to um, run these low voltage devices uh, which obviously reduces uh, the electrocution risk being around water and in a humid greenhouse. So I like running the lower voltage things versus these current um, vent openers, the old ones, they're running at 220 volts. So not. It's you know it's a nice conduit, but still not the greatest thing to to use. So that's about it for our vent opener replacement project. Um, they're looking pretty good. I'll get rid of the old ones um, when I shut down the 220 volt line. The fans are still running and it's all tied together so when I can trip that breaker and uh, shut down the fans I can strip all this out and um, clean it up a little bit. Thanks for watching.